What's up, everybody? My name is Michael, and welcome to, um, first off, welcome to The Lion King. <laughs> uh, I figured I would play this because this is something that I can just easily just not pay attention to and just talk. Um, I know that you're probably looking at the time bar right now and thinking this might be a little bit too long. I don't know how long this is going to take. Honestly, I don't. Um, it could take 15 minutes, could take an hour, but the point of this video is I want to play the entirety of The Lion King, but I also want to just talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, most importantly, um, just like my feelings on YouTube, why I do it, you know, why it's so important to me, <clears throat> so important to me, sorry. Um, and I kind of just wanted to have like a, a chill, relaxing little, uh, little video here. Dang it. I, I never make that on the first jump. Uh, or the second one even. Maybe third time's the charm. It's like, it's really hard because that rock above me, um, you've seen I go right through it, but dang it. You have to like do jump the make it a short there we go hey got it so okay first things first right I want to talk about the structure of this channel um, because people have mentioned it before and I've always kind of wanted to address it which is just the the the, the attitude behind this channel because it's not a high energy like yelling screaming over the top reactions um, it was never about that um, my goal for this channel is always just to be the more dang it come on come on I cannot believe I'm failing under pressure here eh, there we go um, I just wanted to have like a really like chill relax I've said chill too much in this video um, just, just, just a fun for all, pretty much. Like, no swearing, no over-the-top screaming, and all that stuff. Um, and so that's why I am the way I am. And I recognize the fact, I know I'm monotone, I know I'm not that entertaining, but I do it for myself, mostly. Um, but, uh... I don't, I don't know. It's it's weird. This video, by the way, is pretty much going to be just me talking about stuff. I think I've already covered that. Um, here we come to the first boss. Now, if you might have noticed, I put this on easy. Um, the game is... First off, the game is very possible. I know a lot of people say that this game is completely impossible. They can't do it. It is. It is possible. Um, but you got to play it on easy. Oh, bug toss. I love this game. It's one of my favorite SNES games. Um, crap. Dang it. You're supposed to be able to burp and like it clears the screen, but I wasn't quick enough. But, um, so, so yeah, um, this, this video, I'm like repeating myself. It's so difficult, guys. It's so difficult to uh, to play and think at the same time and come up with commentary. Um, but um, I just want I wanted to talk to you about why I do this. And um, the title of this video is is pretty 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 much telling of it's like an indication. Uh, so I'm going to get into that right now. In 2014, I've talked about this before on my channel, um, in one of the Alien Isolation videos. In 2014, I lost my mom. Um, in the, the worst imaginable way, imaginable way possible. Um, I, I lost her to homicide. It was her... I can never make this jump the first time. It was her most current husband and um, his son. Um, 
And uh, I nobody knows why. Nobody knows why it happened. But we kind of think that it was due to a life insurance policy that she had. And it was only a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand, something like that. And uh, I mean, greed is a powerful thing. If it seems like I'm kind of brushing by this topic, um, just keep in mind that I've had a lot of time to really cope with it, and uh, I'm still not completely over. I mean, who would be right? Dang it, man! <laughs> I can do this. I'm not going after that continue. I I've, I can get it, but I don't want to. Because um, it just makes life easier. But, um, so, 2014, lost my mom. There we go. Yeah, screw it. I'll go for it. Um, and so, I was really, de obviously, I was really depressed. Um... Oh, here's where it gets hard, because I gotta determine where the baby rhinos are. Um, I gotta concentrate, hold on. Mm, no rhino. Double rhino. No rhino. No rhino. Rhino. Uh, oop, double rhino. Rhino. And I'm done. Um... <clears throat> I don't know where was I so YouTube YouTube is what helped me out during that time um, and it, it, it there's a lot of things right that I could have turned to um, I wouldn't have, mind you, and I wouldn't. Th I, I actually want to put this on record. I, Michael, have ne oh, I just hit my computer desk. I have never been drunk. I have never been high, and that's something I'm going to continue. And I don't care if I'm boring or whatever you th might think of me. I'm very proud of that fact. Um, I just obviously was in a very dark place after that all happened and it was YouTube I turned to YouTube it was there that was the only thing that made sense to me um, and more specifically it was the game grumps uh, I, I, I'm sure I've talked about this before if I can get that bug hey I got it <laughs> just splat um, it was the Game Drums, man. Specifically, their Sonic Boom playthrough and um, Pokemon Fire Red. And I honestly, I didn't care about Pokemon. Not in the slightest, but dude, that was... I mean, that was the best thing for me. Every single day, I could count on them. I could watch their videos. I could escape from what was going on. And... <sighs> Oh crap. <laughs> and that was good, you know? It was good for me. It was a nice escape. And, uh. Oh, uh, 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 blah. And so, you know, I, I would watch them every single day. Every single day. And it helped. And it really, really did. And so, I, I realized that. Oh crap die. I realized that YouTube could be anybody. Anybody could be a YouTuber. It's easy. It's oh, excuse me. It's easy to produce videos. Um, might not be very easy to uh, like maintain like channel productivity because Lord knows I, I uh, struggle with that. But I realized that I could give back to like that's what I could do and after watching them I came to the conclusion that I would do this channel um, 
and you know it's, it's just a play on my last name you know the first part of it being Roth and then the last part being Geb well I've changed that to games Roth games I don't go by that though I just call myself my first name I just I feel like it's more personal oh crap I feel like it's more personable to just say hey my name is Michael and this is the point of my channel I'm just here man I'm, I'm playing a game having fun and if you join me that's great you know so also I <laughs> I, I probably should have mentioned that th what I have to say will probably um, not last the length of this entire video so there probably will be uh, like momentary lapses of me talking or um, it will probably be me trying to think of stuff to say which is fine I guess uh, isn't that just isn't that just YouTube in a nutshell if you do this kind of playthrough let's play you just kind of talk and play at the same time and some people are better than others I'm not good at it I'll admit so anyway yeah, the Game Grumps were there for me, and you know, not just them, you know, I would watch Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, um, things like that, but it was primarily the Grumps, and so I, I, I realized I could just do this, you know, I, I could have my own channel, and it would be mine, and I could just play what I want to play, and so I started playing Alien Isolation. And, um, I mean, that was awesome. And I'm still playing through. I got to actually record more videos. I need to go up there. But, um, I always hate these. By the way, look how far Simba stretches out there. It's, it's really funny. So for those of you who have ever watched me and thought, oh, well, you're boring or you're... Uh, you're just not energetic enough for me. Where that's totally fine, and I, I get it. I really do. But that's just my style. I could, I could be that guy who's like ah, screaming, you know, like making a big deal out of every little thing, even though it doesn't really merit that kind of reaction. Um, ah, dang it, dang it. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm alive. Yeah, I gotta do all that again. But, um, I just, I just didn't want to. I always forget that. I just don't want to be that kind of playthrough. Playthrough? Streamer? I'm not a streamer. Um, let's player. Yeah, there we go. YouTuber. Content creator. <laughs> I will never say influencer. I'm not influencing anything. Also, I think that's a stupid word. You're an influencer. You influence people to whatever. And that's hard if there's no little tusk to jump on. Alright, guys. L look here, man. Look here. Hey. Can you... Can you... <sighs> um, did I mention that this is going to be a, the full playthrough? It shouldn't take that long. It really shouldn't. Um, and if you're still watching after this long, thank you. I really appreciate it because this is, this is an important message. I feel. I feel like this is an important thing to, to really... Like, just... To get out there. And that is... You know, just... just get my story out there and also never take stuff for granted never take things for granted um you know if you if you've got problems with a parent or a family member or anybody you know just i'm sure it's petty i'm sure it is i'm sure there's ways to work around stuff there has to be because you know, I, the, the last time I talked to my mom was, I was 16, which was like 16 years ago now. Uh, oh, this level. That's how you beat it. 
Literally, this is how you beat this level. Every once in a while, um, one of these wildebeests will get it, you know, on to the far left of the screen. You just gotta jump over it, just like that. That's all you gotta do. And then there's only like one or two rocks that show up on the left-hand side of the screen. Other than that, this is like the cheesiest way to do this level. But what I'm trying to say though is, you know, you never know what's gonna happen, and. If you're having problems with your family, your, your sibling, whatever, just who cares, man? Make that up. You, you got to. You have to. You, you, you got to tell them, you know, you're sorry or you love them. And it's like, like I was saying, I, the last thing I ever said to my mom was an argument where I told her I didn't want to talk to her. I didn't want to have anything to do with her, and that's, I mean, I could have a whole, I could write a whole novel on that. That's a long story, but, um, I'll never get the chance. You know, I will never get that chance to tell her that I love her, and that I'm sorry. And then I did want to talk to her, man. You know? And that was taken from me. But it it doesn't have to be the case for everybody. So you keep that in mind. You know, stuff is just so trivial and petty, and things can be worked through. Things can be talked over. Uh, you can't you can't go back sometimes. And, uh, you know, I wish I could. Um, and, you know, the, <laughs> the whole point of this video is why I do this. YouTube is why. It introduced me to an out, and I realized that maybe, just maybe, I could be that for somebody. I could do that. I could possibly help someone who needs it. Um, if it is any of this making sense, crap. Uh, haha! Yay! Is any of this making sense? I hope it is, and I hope this isn't boring. Um. Hey, I'm I'm really tearing through this game, but hey, another bug toss. I don't know where I'm. What I was saying. Dang it. Oh, I got it. Aha! Ah, there we go. Able to use the burp. You only get one though. Ah, my record's like 35 or something like that. So, hey, Akuma Tada. Oof. Uh, boof. The trick with this is always just stay on the right. So as you're going down these waterfalls, just hold the button to the right with the D-pad. That's if anybody's still playing this. If anybody has ever wanted to beat it, never could, you know, this is also for you guys. I'm probably gonna die. I'm only like, one, yep, one more hit. Um, tell you a fun story about this game. Uh, back in like 94, 95, whenever, because I think Lion King was 94, wasn't it? Ah! Um, this was one of my highest requested, uh, um, what you call it? Christmas presents. Eh, I love Simba's face when he's going down these slides. <laughs> it cracks me up every time. And so, I requested this, and I wouldn't shut up about it. Well, my parents actually got it for me for Christmas. But what they did was they wrapped it, like, 15 times at least. And so, it was also in boxes. So it was like one box inside of a bigger box inside of a bigger box and then wrapped like 15 times and the payoff 
you know, it was worth it, but at the time I was annoyed. They also gave me hermit crabs that year. I don't know if they remember that. Well, I don't know if my dad remembers that. But uh, I killed them because I didn't know how to take care of them, unfortunately. But yeah, so, and I spent hours and hours on this game daily. Daily. And, dang it, my mom, <laughs> I don't know if she was just being a good parent or if she was genuinely interested, but she would just watch me. She would just watch me play it the whole time for hours on end. And, um, like, I don't, like I said, I don't know if she was interested or if she just wanted to watch me play it, but she did. Oh, crap, I'm up to you. This is the weirdest thing. It's like the only thing closest to a boss other than Scar. It's also like one of the only cartoony moments in this game. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll point it out. But yeah, she would just watch me and cheer me on like, Oh, you can do it, you know, or uh, just whatever, just support, basically. And then one day, um, I was home from school, homesick I should say, and uh, I was able to do it. I was able to beat it. Because it is a hard game, especially for a kid. Uh, which way do you go? You go up. Right. Oh, you come back down. There we go. Get up there. Get up there. Get Simba. Come on, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say, just why I do it, why this is so important to me, and just because, I don't, for those of you who have been following me for as long as this channel's been up, yeah, there was like a three or four gap between filming, between uploads. Oof! Yeah, here we go. Here's the cartoony moment I was talking about. Whee! <laughs> and do we have bug hunt? Nope. Celebratory roar. And now we're playing as adult Simba. Adult Simba kind of loses its charm uh, when you play because it there's no more like cool and like little roars and stuff. But he, <laughs> I'll show you a couple of things that I like. Um, but yeah, no, so I have him in quiet, the in the gap. I have another show that I um, used to co-host with my girlfriend um, called Two Player Select. And, ah, crap. In the, the style of the Grumps, man, because isn't, isn't, um, isn't, what's the, what's the phrase, man? You copy somebody, uh, cop, uh, oh my god. It's like the, the, the greatest form of flattery. You know what I'm trying to say. Imitation. Imitation? Yeah. Imitation. Um, is the greatest form of flattery. Before I go on, this little thing right here, um, this is where you fight a bunch of like leopards or cheetahs or something like that. There's a really easy way to do it, and I'll show you. You just gotta run up to here, roar to make them tired, and then flip it, and then just keep holding left, and you just go through. You don't have to fight them. Um, but two player select is it is what it is. You know, it's a really crappy grumps. Uh, knockoff channel, but I mean it was fun while it lasted. Um, I, I say that because she doesn't record with me anymore. We're still together, but uh, she doesn't record with me anymore because of me, and I will openly admit that. Admittedly, because YouTube is so meaningful to me. Not necessarily YouTube, but just creating content like this. And, um, 
I kind of lost sight of that, and I would only do things certain ways, and I know that I was too strict, and it kind of it kind of made her not want to record with me anymore, which is fine. I understand that. So, I mean, two-player select isn't really around as much. I still try to put up videos, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not really that. It, it's it's kind of dead. <laughs> but, um, this is hard to do because you gotta... There we go. If that lands on you, it kills you instantly. And, you know, if you fall in the, the brambles, it hurts you. <laughs> So yeah, um, uh, I I first did that with my buddy Rob, and um, then I met Megan, moved in with her, and since I um, moved in with her, we now live like two cities away from each other. So me recording with Rob became really just impossible. Um, at least impossible in the, the sense that, like, we can't do it full-time anymore, like we were. And so I started uh, filming with Megan, and yeah, there's that. So I did that for about a year or two, um, and then I'm also co-host, co-founder, Mufasa. I'm also co-host, co-founder of a channel called Attention Span Zero, and that isn't really like, like we're not uploading steadily, it's not meant to be that. It's meant more to be like a portfolio, like, hey look, this is what we can do. We can edit this and we could, this is the worst level in the entire game. I'm sorry, that was an ADD moment, but here's how you do this. You literally just run through the, you just blast through the entire thing. I know it seems counterproductive, but trust me, this is the only way to do this godforsaken level. Um, so, Attention Span Zero is more, or yeah, is more of a portfolio. Um, just stuff that we can do, and I've made a couple, dang it, I've made a couple reviews on the channel, and uh, my co-founder Jade has done way more than I ever have on the on the channel. But, ah, oh, God! Really close. I was really close, because there's a, there's a continue. You get far enough. This is where I lose most of my lives. But I can't believe it. We are almost to the end of this game. Almost. Um, I, I think I've hit most of like what I want to talk about. If I can just... I gotta really try and concentrate here. That drips. Watch the drip versus the volcano. They're like timed perfectly to where it screws with you. <laughs> I, I honestly, there we go. Hey! Go, go, go! All these bats. These bats are the worst. Get up there! Yes! <laughs> die, die, die! There we go. Ah, heck yeah. And that's how you do this stupid level. Um, yeah, I think I've pretty much hit everything that I want to touch on. You know, for those of you who were wondering, I know there wasn't a need for this, um, for this video. I know there wasn't. Nobody asked for it. I don't think anybody really cared to know the mythos or the, uh, um, the lore be behind Roth Games. But I, I felt like I should. I felt like I should anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! No! Dang it! Oh, I was on such a roll. What time is it? How long has this been recording? I don't know. Um, and if you've stuck with me for this long, you're awesome. You rock. And there's no one up anymore. Come on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Aha! Gotcha! There we go, there we go. Is this the boulder? It's the boulder, it's the boulder, and ha ha! Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm not. <laughs> I know I'm not talking much, but uh... ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. I forget what's down here. Okay, a little platform. We actually played this on two-player select, Rob and I, or me and Rob. Rob and I played this. Mm. <laughs> Grammar, English, English, and words and stuff and language. English is my first language. <laughs> hey, checkpoint. Now this is an interesting little thing here, section. All you gotta do is stay on these uh, little platforms and wait for... You just pretty much wait for stuff to happen. And you can really just stay on these first two and just bounce back and forth like that. And you're just basically waiting for these geysers to be capped off. That's it. Ah, oh, crap. You got my butt. No. Um. I don't know what else to talk about, really. I'm just gonna finish out this game, because there's only... Ah. Uh, well. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. Oh, you. It's a really depressing death animation, but it's it is nowhere near the quality of death animation from the uh, bootleg NES Lion King, where Simba literally hangs himself. Timon and Pumbaa they like commit suicide, like like Timon digs his own grave, and Pumbaa um, throws himself into a stew. My God. But yeah. I'm just gonna finish out this game because I've got after this I've got one level and then Pride Rock and then that's it. So there's no point in you suck. There's no point in trying to split this up into different videos. Ah! I didn't know that the lava can get you twice. Did that just get no it didn't. I don't like games like this where it's just you're just waiting. Hey, there we go! And now I can just sit here. <sighs> now I can just sit here as I get hit in the face with a rock. There we go. And then last one, jump on it and poof! Lion rocket. Oh, Simba's return! I hope I can remember the pattern here. Because there's a pattern, all these little things are caves. And you gotta go in the right order. Eh, eh, eh. What's also annoying is you have to kill every enemy on the screen. Otherwise, you can't progress to the next uh, section. Oof. 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 Get in. Get, get in. There we go. Thank you. Um, what else is there to talk about, really? I mean, I could talk about my favorite... Nintendo games or Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo is my favorite system of all time. Absolute favorite of all time. I love it. I should have kept that bug. I'm gonna try and time it just right. Uh. <laughs> it looks like he's playing air guitar. Like seriously, if I were to like paste a guitar in there, doesn't it? <laughs> um. Okay. Here's where I usually get tripped up, because I don't remember which one it's in, and if you screw up, you go all the way back. Yeah, there we go. You go all the way back to the beginning, and I think it's this first one here. It is! Yay! <laughs> um, so, my list of favorite SNES games would be this, Lion King, um, Alien 3, which ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it because that's got a, a pleasant memory attached to it. We were at I was living with my parents 
and um, we were living in Virginia at the time and um, we were at I think I think we were at a Sears and back then you could get stuff like uh, Super Nintendo games there Yay, here we go! Last level of the game! Woo! Woo! Roar! Roar! And here's Scour. Hmm. Scar has this thing where if you try and do that flip with him, like if you try and flip him, uh, he'll just attack you until you die from it. So, yep, we're in this Sears, and my dad walks up to me, and he's holding a case, a box. Um, and I looked at it, and it said Alien 3 on the Super Nintendo, and I went, Oh my god, yes! And it, it was funny, because it was more his game. Like, he wanted it. Are you kidding me? You saw that, right? Like, that, that was a... That's on you, Lion King. That, that's on you, all right? Um, but the game was more for him. He wanted it more than I did. And so we got it, and um, we played it, and uh, I don't know, like, like right after we went to Sears and got the game, we went to Shoney's? Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me with that! I'm so- this is a poor- this is a poor example of my Lion King abilities here. <laughs> um... Dang it. He runs away and you can't uh, you can't move until he's completely off screen. So yeah, we, we, we got the game and then immediately went to Shoney's. And that it was just an, it was just a nice memory. The um, the game itself, on the other hand, is I like it, but it is hard. It is one of the hardest games I've ever played, even more so than like Super Empire Strikes Back, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And uh, maybe I'll play it. Maybe I'll play it on uh, on this channel. I was gonna play it on two player select. The verdict's still out on that. If maybe, you know, like we could still record stuff. Come on. Hmm. So, Lion King, Alien 3, at first I hated Super Mario World, hated it with a passion, but um, that was because I'm kind of a purist, and Super Mario World was so different from 1 and uh, 3. I never actually, I've, I've played it, but I've never... This isn't going to make sense. I've played Super Mario 2, but I've never played it. Does that make sense? I've never beat it. I've never played it with the intent to beat it. I've kind of just messed around with it. But uh, for 1 and 3, you know, different story. And yes, I have played The Lost Levels, which is the true sequel to uh, Mario 1. Um, so Lion King, Alien, Super Mario World, Jump. I hate this part. Actually, I got through it pretty easily. Huh. All right. Um, Aladdin. Aladdin was the first game I ever got on the Super Nintendo. And, uh, Donkey Kong Country. One and two hate the third game. Really do. I know a lot of people like it. I don't. Yeah, he's gonna do that for a while. I, I guess I've got to start wrapping this up. You're supposed to do this until he falls off. I've got one hit left, and I really don't want to do this over again. There we go. Alright guys, here is Lion King Beaten. Whoa! <laughs> we have this cool little animation here. He looks off, roars into the distance, and then it starts raining. Look at that, I have one hit left. 
That's called cutting it close. Ooh, nice big stretch. Ah. <laughs> um, thank you for sticking around for so long. Thank you for listening to my rambles. I'm sorry if it got really depressing at times, but it, it, it is what it is. That's my story. That's why I am the way I am. That's why I do this. And, um, I, okay, I know they will never hear this. I know they won't. But, Aaron, Dan, if you do ever hear this, I just want to say thank you. From the bottom of my, of my heart, thank you for everything that you've done, for everything that you do. You have no idea who I am, but you helped me. You got me through the hardest time of my life. I can't thank you enough. You guys mean more to me than you could possibly imagine. And, like, I'll, I'll never meet you. I know that, everything but that light is our kingdom. everything the light touches is your kingdom. <laughs> um, no, you guys are the best. Seriously. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for inspiring me to do something that I truly love. I really do enjoy making these videos, making content. It's something very gratifying about making something, putting it all together, and then putting it out there. And then, like, I know it sounds weird, but, like, for me to make a video and upload it and then watch it on my phone, something that I made, I mean, that's a cool feeling. It's it's hard to explain, but it just it is what it is. But uh, with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I hope... I hope that I hope this video doesn't go unnoticed. I hope more people hear what I had to say. It's nothing really profound, but I believe that the message is strong enough to be heard. Um thanks if you stayed this far, seriously thank you. I don't know how long I've been recording, but I can't imagine it's been a short video. But, um, yeah, man, it, you guys mean the world to me. I'm up to 71 subscribers. That's a huge milestone. I know people talk about 100, 100,000, 300,000. I'm happy. If I had one, then that means that one person gets enjoyment from my videos, and that means that I have done what I set out to do. And that is enough for me. So, thank you, guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. This is Michael, signing off.